at six. It's one of the few schools in the state that still offers drivers training and Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson made a stop at Kersley High School today. If you had to pay for your child's driver's training courses, you know how expensive it can be. And according to Benson, 20 years ago, Michigan shifted the bulk of driver's training programs to the private sector in a cost cutting move, leaving most families on their own to find instructors and pay for training if they can afford it. TV 5's James Felton joins us live now with how the how Benson is working to make driver's education more accessible and affordable. James. Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson is hoping state lawmakers will bring driver's training back to public schools. And she stopped by Kersley High School today because Kersley High School is one of the few schools in the state that still offer driver's training. Fewer educated, licensed teen drivers can mean limited education and employment opportunities and create additional hardships for families who must arrange transportation for their high school students and potentially means there are more unlicensed, untrained drivers on Michigan's roads. Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson tells us some private providers are charging up to $650 for segment one of driver's education. That's why her office is exploring two options to make driver's ed more accessible for teens looking for a license to drive. Providing grants to teenagers whose families can't afford to purchase driver's education courses out of pocket and also exploring a return of driver's education to our public schools. Benson was joined by Michigan Education Association President Chandra Matafari, who says having driver's education switch lanes back to public schools is the right move. It will address inequities, lower costs for families, and most importantly, save lives. 16-year-old Saginaw High School junior Julian Morris agrees. He reflected on the challenges he faced. I recently embarked on the exciting journey of getting my driver's license only to be confronted by the substantial financial burden that comes with driver's education. It's an issue that not only affects me, but affects teenagers all across the state. I can recall sharing my experience with some of my peers only to hear at least you can afford to learn to drive. Now Benson is imploring state lawmakers to hear these words and take action. This is what public education is ultimately about, ensuring that everyone has equal access to quality education, and that needs to, in our state, be extended to driver's education as well. And the MEA president is hoping that state, law, may state lawmakers, private sources, and donations, vehicle donations from car dealerships will enable public schools across the state to bring back driver's training. Reporting live and local in Saginaw, James Felton, WNEM TV5. James, thank you. Benson says she's optimistic that Governor Whitmer will propose an investment to enable schools to bring driver's education back.